Monday again. So this is my second video for Crazy Critical Lab and today I'll be doing pros and cons of owning a dog. So basically I'm just going to do three cons and three pros. So here we go. To start I'll do cons. The first con is that when you get them, if you get a puppy, you have to totally train them and that can take a really long time sometimes because um, some dogs like take longer than others but sometimes like you think that you've just mastered it and your dog's going out to do the business and all that and then they'll just go and pee or poop on the floor which isn't good and it can be like really frustrating sometimes when they just won't go outside and stuff. The second con is that you have to walk them every day. Although it determines between different breeds how many times but on average you need to walk them about one to four times a day so that can be a real hindrance if you've got a really busy day plans and stuff because they really need to walk to burn off some energy especially if you've got like a terrier or a greyhound or something like that. The third con is that sometimes like well basically if they bite you or scratch you um, it really hurts. <laughs> So the scratches can sometimes really hurt. I'll try and show you one that Tilly did the other day, right there. Can't really see it clearly. Clearly, yeah. Can't really see it clearly, but it was like super bad and it was bleeding. But now it's kind of healing up. And also, um, like puppy teeth super hurt. They're like little needles. They're so horrible. Oh, it really hurts when like puppy teeth hit you. And also like. Adult teeth can really hurt as well. They like leave indents on your skin if like they bite you. As although like if your dog if you train them to be aggressive, which you shouldn't, they'll obviously like bite you harder and you could like end up seriously injured. So now for the pros. The first pro of owning a dog is that you've got like someone to talk to because obviously they can't tell anyone or blab because obviously they're a dog. And it just like really helps because the way people say dogs are a man's best friend, then they're, they're literally not joking. It's really, it's a great partnership you have with your dog and you can like tell them anything. And I don't know whether this happens with all dogs, but sometimes like when I'm sad or down, Tilly seems to notice that I'm sad and she'll just come over and give me a lick and like curl up on my lap. And I think that's really cute and she'll just like be really nice. And it's really cute though, because you can always have fun with them and everything. Um, the second pro is that you can teach them loads of tricks as dogs are the one of the best like animals to teach tricks along with like things like horses and monkeys maybe <laughs> um, but they're really good to teach tricks and they can teach, learn them super super fast and once you've taught them a few tricks you can enter them into competitions and contests, whether that be like just showing or agility or obedience. It's really super fun, and you can give and you get really competitive, and um, you really want to win like the rosette or the cup or the money or whatever. So it's really fun when you win, and it's really fun just to compete. The third pro is that it's really cute to have a dog because do you know when when you're bored, sometimes you just don't have anything to do, but you can always play with your dog and. It's really good because um, like if you're playing fetch, once you've taught them how to fetch, it's really fun to play with them. Like if you get um, like a tennis ball and start throwing it outside and they start running for it and get bringing it back. It's like really fun for the dog and also it's really fun for you because it's, it's just basically really fun and keeps you really fit and healthy because obviously you have to take them for walks. So you've also got that side. So that's basically all the pros and cons. I've just done three, there's like loads and loads more pros and I don't think there's any more cons really, but there's like loads and loads more pros, so literally I could go on for hours and hours about how good owning a dog is. I hope this video helps you all and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye! just like to say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah or any other religious holiday or just um, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays because obviously Next week, it'll be after Christmas. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Christmas, and a Happy New Year to everyone.